Actors at One Dunedin Theatre will spend extra time on the boards in the run-up to the year's end as they try to raise vital funds for renovations. The Globe Theatre needs to raise about 500000 for repairs and earthquake strengthening work. Built in 1961, the London Street building has been falling into disrepair for the past few years, but committee members are doing all they can to ensure the show does indeed go on. Globe Committee Chairwoman Rosemary Beresford is with us this evening to talk about the road ahead for the theatre. Good evening. Now, what work actually needs to be done to the Globe? Well, first of all, I should say that the Globe isn't just a theatre that was built 50-odd years ago. It's part of a building which, in fact, was built 150 years ago. So the Globe is a whole building with, of which the theatre is just one small part. So um, the work that needs to be done is work that needs to restore, uh, carry out the uh, conservation repair on the entire building. And we're starting with the theatre part of the building because that's what keeps the whole building alive. Mm. And what needs to be repaired is the um, damage that's been done to the building by the water that's been coming in gradually over the years through the roof. The roof um, surface needs to be replaced. Um, the wall into which the water has been dripping needs to be you know, removed, replaced, etc. And all sorts of things are going to be done at the same time. With the roof off, then this great opportunity for earthquake strengthening. The floors can be sort of done. The fire exit paths will be sort of, um, replaced. All sorts of work is going to be done. And it'll make the whole of the place that the most people see, the theatre's auditorium and foyer, much more attractive and much more comfortable. So that people can go to the theatre and not worry about possibly having a drop of rainwater falling mm -hmm. on them. Is the building currently unsafe? No. <laughs> we couldn't operate if it was unsafe. Mm. Now, half a million dollars is a big target. Yeah. What is the theatre doing to try and raise funds? Well, the usual yeah, funding applications being made to places like Lottery and all the local organisations. But in addition, as you said in your introduction, we are putting on extra productions during the next few months. We are having um, various members of the globe um, coming in and putting on special sort of fundraising acti uh, promotional activities. So we've got Dickens readings for several nights. We've got uh, a Shakespeare performance workshop being carried out over one weekend. We're running quizzes. We're running gala um, auctions, etc., etc. And we're talking to a lot of people yeah. and trying to persuade them to part with a wee bit of money. Do you have a set timeline to complete the works? We've got one of our local big building firms um, all geared up to start at the beginning of April, but that might be a wee bit soon. But, you know, ideally it would be wonderful to start at the beginning yeah. of April, but I guess it's going to be a bit later than that. What will happen if you're not able to raise the money? That's not an option. <laughs> it's a good attitude. Will the theatre need to relocate during repairs or will you suspend performances? Oh, no, we won't suspend performances if we couldn't afford to. Um, the kind of production team that continues to work at the Globe will work somewhere else, but at this stage we, we don't know when it's going to happen. Mm. So therefore we don't know where we're going to be, but we will certainly carry on putting on performances. And how long do you expect to be out of action should you start a Oh, Well, the builders have quoted six months. Okay. So. What can interested members of the community do to help? Apart from giving money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, obviously, donations. Um, we're a registered charity, so all donations are eligible for tax credits. Uh, people can give money in the form of sponsoring a seat, mm -hmm. or they could elect to become ghosts in the theatre. Uh, that's slightly more expensive, but, you know, the theatre has a history of ghosts, so we thought it was a nice way of raising money. Um, they can obviously come and see our shows, the first or the next one of which rather opens next Thursday, a production of Macbeth. Um, they can become friends of the theatre and at a very, very low charge um, of $20, they can be, become members for a year and that entitles them to $10 off every um, performance they mm. go to. So it, it, they're really good deals. Globe Committee Chairwoman Rosemary Beresford, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome.